Hey, what's up, y'all? Happy ha happy Wednesday to you. We had hump day. Almost made it through the trading week, man. Going to get on through 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 Wednesday and two more days to, to go till the weekend here. All right, market still pulling on back now. Market down $627.51. But my portfolio is down $631.90, 1 1.51%. All right, portfolio standing at $41,283.02. Buying power was $1,683.80. On, yes, on yesterday in the post market, Metafans had good earnings. Um, I brought 10 shares at $44 bucks in the post, post market. I need to average my, uh, lower my average cost. I brought 10 and I put a sell order in at $45 to make a dollar share, but the point is to lower my average cost. <laughs> So I would have had nearly about $2,100 now, or 22 or whatever it is. <clears throat> but it's all good. I got that uh, sale order there. I was still dollar cost averaging to it. Matter of fact, it's under, it's undervalued. Probably not a company I would newly invest or get in, 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 into way back, way back in the day of 2020, 21, 2021, 2022, between 20, 2020 and 2022, I mean, it, it was a, a good stock, good dividend payer, still, dividend still, still good. Um, I'm trying to think whether they might have stopped their, um, their, 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 their dividend for, uh, growth to end up growing the company more, but. Sorry going on a rant, just telling you what I'm doing. But I personally would not prefer, I mean, if 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 you want to invest in MetaFast, this is a good time to, you know, to to, to uh, buy in. I think there's better stocks out there to spend your, your money on. I mean, you got a lot of bank, bank, bank stocks and, 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 and REITs with bigger and stronger market caps and better, um, I ain't going to say better, but similar, uh, P P P E ra uh, ratio so and with a lot of trade trade volume for you to get in and in and out in and out of it too and you don't have to you know watch it and side 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 out of that stock in your sleep so not saying that it's bad 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 I think the company will grow and bounce back but we are going to see all right let's get it let's get into these stocks we're gonna look at bit at bit at Bitcoin. Sorry y'all for going um, on a rant, man, but it is what it is. I'm just giving y'all what it is and the up the up updates on the stock market. All right, Bitcoin fifty one thousand two hundred fifty four dollars eighty seven cent, holding above the fifty the fifty dot fifty thousand dollar dollar mark, which is good. Uh, Zero City Group, no, I'm good on Rocket Mortgage. I need some more of this. Like I say, man, keep keep trading, trading simple. As you can see, this market is pulling on back. So it don't make no sense to load up on, on anything unless it's something you really want. <clears throat> okay, stocks I'm loading up, up on in the um future. I did a short um last, last, last night on uh on, on um Walmart. They got a three to one stock, a, a stock stock split. Let me say it again. Three three for one stock split. Meaning if you got ten shares. When they do the three for one split, you will not have 30 shares. You can get three shares for every one. And say the price is $150 a share when they split it. They're going to split that into three, which means $150 a share would be $50 a share. And if you got 10 shares, you'll have 30. So you're going to get a three for one split. And the reason for them to do that is to make the stock more uh, attractive. And more affordable for people to start buying again. It's easier for people to buy that um, 50 bucks than 100, 150. Doesn't mean the stock is under, undervalued. They just do that, and it kind of um it uh that that dilute the share the share the share shares too. So they had 2.7 billion shares, but now they're doing the three for one. So the the 2.7 billion shares now that is three because you get three on one it's now now it's um <clears throat> 8.1 billion shares now so um i i plan on going 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 in hard i think the price gonna be between 50 uh i think right now is at 176 dollars 
I think it's gonna be um probably around the six this this is six the sixties dollar dollars range I wanna say. Um but I plan on going 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 in kinda 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 hard on it. And um Walmart gonna be a stock I'm gonna buy and hold for the long 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 term. So um that's the only thing I'm looking up I'm looking in into loading up on in the future. Um, they're gonna do the start split February 26th. Um, that that morning, uh, Monday morning when the mark when the market opens. So um, and anybody else that wanted to buy the, the buy to up to to up your shares or or sell 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 your shares before the start the start split. Um, I ain't gonna say sell because you can sell whenever, but up it um. You gotta have them by the twenty twenty third is Friday, Friday, Friday. You gotta have you gotta have it. You set your your buy, buys in by third Thursday evening at market closing. Uh, the uh, lady said you gotta have them in by Thursday, and that's what they're gonna do the stock split based on your portfolio and the position you hold at that point in time. Sorry for going on another rant, man, but it's a lot going on in this in this in this market. While y'all working, I trade trade stocks and I watch stocks all day. So I like sports, sports, sports too. But you know those those players, those athletes, all all already got their uh, million dollars, their little million dollar dream. I don't I don't need to be a a millionaire. All I all, all I want is fight is, is financial freedom, which I sort of all already have i'm just trying to get my dip my dip my dividends up uh monthly to about um i want about thirty five hundred dollars a month in dividends man thirty five hundred to four to four thousand i mean i i i i can really be good off off three because i because when that happens my uh houses and all of my prop my properties will be be paid off in like the next year probably next like two 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 years at max I know one of them I, I'm gonna have paid off in the next twelve in the next twelve twelve months. Um. So, me me not having no no mortgage and having uh three 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 to four grand a month coming in. I mean, like I say, with no with no mortgage, with no um car notes or anything, I would be um pretty good, man. So. And a lot of people might say, man, three, 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 th three thousand dollars a month is not, is not, is not nothing. Okay, cool. And uh, uh, you know, um, your life cool, but in mine, if I, if I, if I, if I wake up every day, and God end up giving me a hundred dollars a day to live, you got thirty days in a, in a, in a month, and He gave me a thirty dollars, I mean a hundred dollars every morning, give me a hundred dollar bill every morning, you know, to live and make it throughout the whole day. I think I'm able, I'm able, I'm able to make it. And I all, and I also have three, three kids, and I can still make it on that. <laughs> so, you know, um, to eat, to each their own, and I live well below my my uh means. I'm not cheap. I consider myself a little frugal, a little bit. I mean, I do buy stuff. I mean, if I see stuff on a bargain or, or a deal, I will I, I will, will ca cash up and splurge. But um, I just don't be buying, buying stuff just to be buying it. But um, I want to start out at that uh, three three thousand a month, then slowly increase it to about forty five hundred, slowly. But I know um. Just in uh, my life, I'm good off three off three three thousand dollars a month in dividends. I, I mean, it's not because, like I say, I won't have no um no uh house notes, no mortgages, and I don't have no um car notes, so everything will be a be a be good. <clears throat> All right, going off not on on the rant, just giving y'all giving y'all the real man. All right, let's get on back to this trading. Ticker O O P P I. I'm buying it because it's at three dollars twenty twenty six cent. My average call is eight forty one. I need to bring that that down. Just made the new fifty two week low at three twenty. Y'all have to remember, REITs 
in the financial sector, especially REITs, because they're taking more of a hit than a financial sector sector is. And um, this is a perfect time for you for you to buy. Don't buy all of the, the REITs that I am, am buying, because a lot of them, like I always say in the videos, anything on a billion dollar market cap, when things get a little better, when the economy get a little better, and he start cutting these interest rates, I will be selling them. I'm going to sell them. I'm going to take, take profit, and I'm not buying back into them. And um, when that when that when that when that time 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 comes, I will tell and uh, show you the stocks that I am selling, and tell and show you why I am selling them. But when I sell them, I will sell them in the in the green though. I don't want to sell them in the uh, red, cause I get dividends every month or quarter from them, so I'm 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 not losing. And uh, just to say, if I never did want to sell them. I would stop buying them, putting fresh powder in them, and I would just reinvest the uh, dividends only. That's one thing about the market, man. People don't understand that. They like selling dividend stocks in the red. I'm like, look, man, just stop stop buying it and just reinvest the uh, dividends and let that stock bail itself out. But that's one of my uh, systems of trading, you know, one of, one of my uh, tactics, man. I'm not selling nothing in the, in the red, man. Depends. Cause I'm not trading. I'm not doing no date, no day trading or anything. If I was doing some date, some day day trading, that'll that'll be be different. But I am not day day trading. So um, and if I was, I was I would only day day trade uh me besides Tesla um and um Bitcoin. I would probably only try to date. I would try. I would try to find a quarterly or a dividend paying paying stock. So just in case I get stuck or trap trap, then I'm able to stop buying or investing. Or if I did dig a deeper hole, at least I get a quarterly or a monthly dividend. So I'm not losing. Whenever I, I get tired of that of that trade, whatever. When I get trapped in it, I can just stop investing in it. But I got I know the skills how to trade out of it too. So that's just a part of trading and you know uh, reading reading charts and stuff, man. And knowing how to lower the uh, lower your your average cost on stuff. All right, I bought pets, man. Pets is a company I would not invest in. I'm doing it because I got it. Like I just I just said, I'm not um I'm not selling in the uh, red. This is not a company that I will advise y'all to buy. Land is cool. It's a REIT. Pays out, pays out, month, month, pays out monthly. Like I said, a lot of REITs are getting beat up. Land um, is a company um, owned by, uh, Glad, by Gladstone. And they buy like farm, farm, farmland and all that kind of stuff. So all y'all people out there, okay, SBSW, they must have had bad, bad earnings. I had to go in, got to lower, lower my average cost. But anyway, on land for everybody that want to own, own land, all y'all people that want to get in, into real estate, y'all want to own land and stuff. Land, this L-A-N-D would be the easiest way for you to start investing in it. All right, charge point. I got a buy order in at two dollars, and it didn't trigger. It got to one ninety nine, so it should have got it. Okay, one eighty five for that buy order, and one eighty one. So it must have got my order at two dollars. Let's see. Average cost two nineteen. Lowered it down. It did take it. All right, I brought 30 shares at $2, and I will be selling them. I'm about to load up now around this, this kind of range here. Um, Where did it drop from? 214. I'm going to buy some more at 199. I think I just brought 30 shares. 0.99. I want to get me another 50 shares. Get me 20 more shares. 20 shares. And I will be selling these. 
I'm going to take them 50 shares I'm buying. As you seen I brought 30 at $2. I'm going to put in the order for $199 for another um another uh 20 Going to make it 50 And I'm going to sell it quick. If I can sell it for $2.08 and make $8 a share, all I'm trying to do is lower my average cost and rinse and repeat while it is in this buying, the buying, buying range. Is that the $2 mark? I will buy charge point from $2 and none. I think it got a 52 week lower, like 165 or something. So between that $2 and down, $2, I start nibbling. At that 180 and under, I start like loading up kind of. Because one thing about char char charge point, which I'm showing y'all, you see uh two two days value. Two days value is five million eight hundred and seventy one dollars ninety five million eight hundred and seventy three thousand and sixty four trades. Um on a good good day, char charge point can trade at a ten a ten a ten mi ten million volume range. Easy. So anything over a million trades a day daily volume is good. That's a good enough stop for you to get in and out because it's a lot of trading volume, meaning a lot of traffic. So it's easy for you to buy in and to get out because you always it's always somebody, the uh, bigger fool they like call it. You gonna buy that? You brought it at two to two dollars. They brought it at two o five. You brought more at two o seven. And then they all gonna come at two dollars and ten ten cent and buy it, and you gonna get out before them. All they call it the bigger fool tactic. There's always a bigger fool that gonna come behind you and buy the stock at a high at, at a higher price. So if you brought it at two two dollars, you brought a thousand shares. You set a buy a buy limit at hell two o two o two o two two o five to get out. You all gonna have somebody behind you trying to buy that 205, gonna come in late and try to sell it at 207 to 208. So when they come hit it at 205, you're gonna be out. When they said buy it at 207, they gonna hope it's gonna go up. But a lot of people brought that two at two dollars gonna sell at 207, so the stock gonna come down. So for that daily day, just to say if 207 was the daily high and 205 was the two dollars was the daily low. They're going to take an L because they're going to drop back down. So they're going to buy 207 and they're going to tank back to $2. When they tank back to $2, you go in and buy. <laughs> Do it again. Rinse and re repeat over and over. All right. A little bit of game on Charles Char Char Point. That stock is, is, is volatile, but it's also a long, long, long term hold. You can buy a night at $2. And um, you can, can hold it. Uh, they say about $20, $26. Six, it should be around about five to seven dollars a share. So it is a long term hold thing for 2024. This is uh um 2024. By 11 shares of this, I need to come on come on down. For 2024, they say it should get around about the three 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 dollars mark, the upper twos. So uh it's a good stop for you to get in, get in now and hold for the for the for the long for the long 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 term. I mean, it, and, and and it's a great stop to trade, man. If, like you want to get in the swing swing trading, that stock that stock is perfect. <clears throat> All right, Metafast. I brought some of that today. I brought uh three dollars worth. I got the notification that it was down. So you see, three dollars at forty one ninety five. I had brought it. Um. I buy it on screen for y'all again, so y'all can see what I'm trading. Like I say, Metafast is not something I suggest y'all to buy. I mean, it's something if you want to swing trade it. It's not a gamble. I mean, I think the stock is going to bounce back, but I just think there's better stocks out there to uh, buy. And like you're able to see, it's down fit fit fifteen point five seven per percent. <clears throat> All right, RYLD is a stock, is a e, an ETF. I will say buy. It pays a, a a monthly dividend around sixteen to seventeen cent a share a month. So I will say to buy that. Fifty-two week low at fifteen eighty-five. Fifty-two week high at nineteen thirty-nine. So um yeah on that one. I got some other orders going in on my Weeboo um portfolio.
ARR. I'm trying to lower lower my average cost in Armor Residential REIT ticker ARR. That's also a, a, a monthly paying REIT. Made dividend cuts, but now it pays a uh, twelve cent a share dividend. No, no, uh, twenty twenty four cent a share div twenty four cent a share a month dividend. Um, but it dropped it from it was paying forty forty cent a month. This 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 another re you need to hold for the long term ticker A A B R Arbor Realty Trust pays a strong dividend yield um twelve point five three per per cent pays a dividend of forty three cent a share quarterly P E ratio is seven point two meaning stock is undervalued so if you can get into this this is a good good, good time to start nib uh, nibbling at it. I'ma load 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 up on it at uh twelve twelve dollars and under. As you can see, fifty two week low ten dollars ten cent. Fifty two week high seventeen seventy four. Two point four nine market cap. Two point four nine billion market cap. That's why I was saying earlier, anything under the market cap of one billion, I'm kind of um once once that once that stock goes up and I get in a in a in a green in a positive, I'm selling it. All right. Give me y'all a lot, a lot of game, 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 game free, man. So y'all, hey, <laughs> I, I be doing these uh videos. Some of them might be twenty minutes. You know, today is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot going on in the uh, market. So I'm giving y'all, giving y'all this uh game, this game, this game free now. Um, okay, H N N A pays a thirteen cent, a thirteen cent yield quarterly. I mean dividend quarterly. Yield is 8.16. PE ratio 10.5. So it's one that's in the buying buying range. That's hold on. H N N A. Where is that? 6.33. $6.33 is the low. 6.66 is that. Very seldom this stock goes down to um. I'm gonna buy a share today. 6.66. Is that the low for the day? What 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 was the daily low? Let me make sure. I think that's what it was though. Daily today is low 6.6. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we're gonna hit it there. I'm gonna add on the share. 6.66 limit share. I want to get one share. One full share of that. Lower my average cost and build it up. RVSSB Riverview Bank is an underrated bank. Small bank, $100 million market cap. Got a strong dividend yield. I think it pays six, six cents a share quarterly. Excuse me, it's dipping down. Daily low four dollars and sixty three cent. I need to lower my average cost in this. I will take two of these shares because I can always swing swing trade it later whenever it goes on up. Fifty two week high seven thirty. I can buy it now at four seventy five and sell it at six dollars. All these shares I'm accumulating now to get my money back and make a couple dollars. Um, that's H N N A. We did H P E. I know I'm good in. I was getting beat up. I got some I V R. This is another REIT waiting to go around a nine dollar mark, so I can sell that. S L V O. I like around a seventy dollar range. I can get some of that. They still pays out monthly, monthly dividend. They still does cover calls. The op the options on silver. <clears throat> what else we at um uan it's a nice dividend yield yield this here does fertilizer buy a little bit of that 52 week low is 62 bucks if it goes back to that range that's one stock i might load up on for a swing 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 trade but tsly at the day Nine dollar mark. Eleven twenty four. I like TSLY at nine dollars and under. 
Really, if I can get around about that 950 ish range. This cover calls on Tesla. When Tesla start flying. That stocks go back up. OARK is another one. Yield max ETF. These pay out monthly high div dividend yields. These pay like 59 per, per percent dividend yield, year, like yearly. I want this to go back down 11.61. I'ma catch around the $12 range, but it's not bad for y'all to start buying. I'ma just ca 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 cash up on it until it get in the buy, buy range where I want it to be at. This cover calls on Disney. 21.72, I'm good there. Um, AR, A, 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 R, R, this stock I was talking about earlier, Armor Residential REIT. I'm buying this at 1874 and I'm selling it at 1876 in my Weaver portfolio to lower my average cost. As you see, I got a high average cost here, but I will be getting in this portfolio, making some adjustments on that too. I just can't do it the way I want to because I'm limited on trading here. Um, this is another one, QQQY, pays out monthly, high uh, dividend yield, dollar cost averaging down in that. Um... Overall, man, my um, port portfolio is good for the future, man. I'm I'm um, excited about it. Last month, I made $1,078 in this um, portfolio here in dividends, man. NFLY1498 is a 52-week low. I'm going to put a buy limit at 15 bucks just in case one day it tanks and I'm not looking here to catch it. $15. We got a 24-hour mark. We can do that. Add a shell. I am loading up. Not loading up, but um, loading up at times with dollar cost averaging and these high-yielding paying, monthly paying ETFs. And that's all I'm doing in this portfolio. Another one I stock I buy $5 a day that's not um, in this portfolio is, is, uh, fi is Pfizer. Take a PFE. Add on that $5 a day. And I'm out, man. GGYM, go get, go get your money. Um, watch my recent videos, man. Like I said, I give y'all a bunch of game, game, game free. Give y'all a million dollars worth, worth of game, game free. All right, man. Holla.